Good morning. Tom Brooks Artist. New message from Louise Bill Toe. Uh, this one I've laid in another glaze, just water and orange, like I indicated last time. This is acrylic and it's translucent, so use that. And the fact that it dries fairly fast. So you want to be working on several things at one time if you can. And it's difficult to cover things up. So this is the how to paint in acrylics and the scene is from West Seattle. It happens to be a photograph. It can be any resource you want to, or none. In terms of this, today is trees. I should say that first. So this was the piece I did here, and this is an instructional series, so I'm getting the uh, the process down. So in terms of painting trees, this is just a mid-tone. I don't care if it's green or not at this point. So how do we get soft edges on the outside? So that's the first step. I want the edges softer than, than what occurred in here. Okay. So it's taking the brush, which is the large brush again. This one. Soft-haired. So you've got to play with the brush to get the strokes. So there's a certain gesture depending on the type of tree you're painting. You need a trunk to start with. And then you just begin paying attention to leaving some whites because you can always cover it up. So these were begun on the white canvas. This section here, there's a glaze or a thin wash, which I'll let dry and then paint on top. I've taken that on top of the dry tree, which is one way of softening the outside. Also adjusting the color a little bit. This would be like the first lay in here. You can see the, the trunk and then kind of a crisscrossing stroke for this particular kind of tree. And then some variations, like the first lay in. Again, a wash. I want to keep going, so I've got another scrap canvas. This is just a cotton canvas primed for either oil or acrylic. So you can see it already suggests, even in the practice of brush strokes, this would be the first thing you do. You take a tone, as you can see, on a, on a white, and you're trying to make tree marks. Also, a gestural response to the family, either the fir family, pine family, and then begin to make your own. So little ticks with the edge of the brush, broad strokes, fast, slow, nice and easy, and you layer it. Again, acrylic dries, it layers. If you're layering it, all a prima, wet and wet, then you're going to get some mixtures in there. Uh, if you don't want to wait for a background to dry, just work on the white and go over this with a tone. So I'm working that same basic tree. It's this one here. And again, this is the resource. And you're not copying anyway. The copy is the photograph. You cannot do what a photograph does best. So your job is to put some personal feeling and interpretation into what you're doing. You want to be looking at the silhouette. What is the silhouette shape? That's the outside edge of the tree and some structural things. And that's about all you need to make a tree. I've always been interested in the brush mark, how it becomes something, how we read it as something. And what are the essential ingredients for that? Well, for this particular kind of tree, this action first, and then you come back through it with some smaller marks. And the basic movement is this nice, easy, crisscrossing action. And you're watching how the whites disappear. You don't want to go real solid, because you can always add more. You want some holes there. Okay. That's just one basic color. 
some of these areas with a big brush you're not going to get a thin line you can paint that out paint back into it that will be the next step the two strips of canvas these need to dry before I can do anything else I think I'm ready to go back into this I've already put a light wash of orange over this and then wiped it off you can see it's a little bit lighter and you get a sense of the atmosphere affecting the tree okay so I'm going to put some more in here some more trees okay so if you look at this objectively and again I used a big brush on this it's the silhouette that works I made this one a little darker to push this back so you can see that helps create the space it's overlapping planes I may do more or I may not Tom Brooks artist .com.